Hi everyone, I'm going to show you in this tutorial uh, what the command screw is and how to make a spring. First of all, we're going to delete that one by pressing X. It will be deleted. We're going to add, we're going to add mesh, sorry, cylinder. Okay, we want to know where it is, so we press N and see that it's in the center located. This is, this is good. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's just touching the eye you can see or you can't see and this is the render no problem add vertex mesh and we're going to add a circle i want a spring that has a diameter of uh, half a millimeter so i put in radius 0.25 uh, vertex i leave to well, around 40 it's not important directly uh, we want to rotate it uh, around the y-axis, so R, Y, 90, like this. And I've said that uh, I want to make a spring of uh, half a millimeter with a radius of, for instance, of the diameter of the spring uh, at the end should be 4 millimeters. So the radius should be 2, so I put in 2 over there. And now uh, I'm ready to use the command screw. So we go to uh, tools modifier screw and we go to edit mode good first of all what do we have all uh, you normally it should work with that uh, you could you can choose uh, x y z etc um, first of all you fill in 360 degrees why i want to make one turn and in one turn i will will, will have to lift something otherwise i can get the screw and the lift in the Z direction is what you fill in over here. For instance, say three. Okay, you see already what's happening. This is because I think there's a problem in, the, in Blender, but I'm going to solve it in a few seconds. Uh, you can, that's the rotating, the rotating axe. So normally it should be Z. Yeah? You could choose Y, and you could choose X, but this is not the correct one. So I leave it to Z. And we say over here which one is the axis. And the axis in my case is the cylinder. Now you see what's happening? Okay. This means that one turn, 360 degrees, like it is over here, has a lift off, in that case, from three millimeters. Okay. If I want more turns, for instance, uh, let's say 10, we make it 3,600. Why is it screwed up? Because the resolution is not good enough. So we go to uh, steps and we're going to put in 200. Now you see that's much more bad. That's much better, sorry. But sa same, proper, same problem that we have is we multiply this by 10. And I want my screw that it has step by step 3 millimeters. So I have to put in 30 over here. So the first spring is 3 millimeters. Next one is 3 millimeters, etc., etc. So now you see that your spring is ready. Now, if you want that spring uh, better, you can, in here, look, you see what's happening. It's going smoother and smoother and smoother. That's, the higher you, you go, the smoother it is, the more time and space it takes. Also, smooth shading on. And sometimes it happens when you uh, do such a thing that you get some errors around here, then Calculate order is also necessary, but in my case not. You can switch in R. I think everybody knows that the normals to the surface has to be uh, outside. So um, what is left now? Um, ah, yeah, you could uh, make a spring pressed so it's under pressure. This is meaning that the the distance in normal uh, average is 30 here. Uh, when she's pressed in, for instance, uh, you could say, okay, that has, has to be in 15 because of volume and now it has a certain strength yeah okay uh, before we can apply it we have to go from edit mode to object mode okay now we can apply and you will see probably i don't know uh, if you saw it but this the spring is open this is not okay so we go back in edit mode i'm going to select the edge edge selection right click on that one alt right click on that one and pressing f to fill it up and we do the same over there and your spring is ready well this is spring uh, it can also be used to uh, to make 
some sort of traveling system I don't know for water or tubing or uh, like you want pressing F and it's closed going to object mode and it's finished okay um, I put that one away I'll show you in a few seconds how to do it for something else we're going to add mesh a plane like that going to switch off the cylinder again uh, rotate R X 90 and or Y 45 sorry or X 90 enter or Y 45 enter. go to edit mode and we're going to delete these two edges going to make a screw and uh, going to delete them like that we have a two left uh, we are going to object mode and we're going to scale them a little bit more down put them aside and put on the cylinder uh, okay. put it just against the other one and it's just to show you how we can do it same principle go to screw uh, we're going to select the cylinder one turn is has a lift off of let's say for instance one millimeter it's not enough three millimeters okay let's make it uh, two turns and make it six okay and now you go to edit mode ah oh, sorry forgot better looking apply go to object mode sorry and apply and it should be ready now we're going to position it again a bit more like that and your screw is ready so thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe thank you